Okay, this video is how to access your email while you are into the control panel of your website. This is for one of my clients. I use Hosting Lawyers. They are one of my favorites, and um, Chris at the Hosting Lawyers is one of the best people I have ever worked with. So um, this is, once again, how to check your email. Now, um, and also how to do an email server side. So, and because um, I, you know, I don't like using Outlook Express. Um, you know, I like to rather go into the control panel and see what I have. And this also will show you how to delete email. So, what I want you to do, if you look right here, where I'm clicking, it says Webmail. We're going to click on it, and we're going to go in Webmail. Go to Secure Webmail Login. Okay. Now, with this window. Yes, you want to go on. And we are getting in to the control panel. Now, uh, this is actually going to check your main mail. Now, for some reason, I like score mail. Now, I will go into how to do your other email, which as you see here, you do not have any email in the main email. So we're going to go back over here. And you can go to home just by pressing this here. Be careful what you do in the control panel because I don't want anything messed with the website. Uh, if I'm doing your website, if it's your website, you don't have any kind of website with me, don't worry about it. Okay, now once again, we're going to go to email account. This is beside the webmail. We just clicked right here, email accounts. Okay, so it's going to go in here. And you're going to scroll down because you're not going to, you know, if you want to do any more emails, just let me know. Okay, now, Greg, this is yours right here. So, what we're going to do, we want to read your email. Okay, so we're going to check your email. And we are going to access webmail. If you click on more, we're going to have to access your email. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you have the password, which you will get. Uh, so I'm going to enter the password, okay, and make sure that I'm right with the password. And I am wrong with the password. So I think I know what it is. And so I'm going to put that in here. And yes, I'm right. So I will. And all your emails have the same. Okay, let me write this down so I know what to send you. And like I said, I will put this in your email. Now, once again, we are going to go to Squirrel Nut Mail. It doesn't really matter which one you go to. They're all good, okay? You can use Horde. You can use Squirrel Mail. We can use ground, Round Cube. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to use Squirrel Mail, okay? It is easier. It probably be easier for you. And that will probably help you out. Now, here are all your emails that you have. Now, if you want um, to delete some, like I am seeing some that could be possibly, you know, everything you've gotten already, I believe in here you've got. So what you're going to do, say, for instance, you want to delete. And, uh, you know, like say, for, okay, I'm going to, in, for instance, delete this one. The more mail that you have in here, will actually, which I'm just going to sh show all, and which it says you have 133 emails. This actually takes up room on your server. And if we do not check this regularly, you can fill up on your server, and we're going to run out of room. So that is not good. So we're going to select all. Okay. So everything is selected. And then we can hit the delete button, which is right over here. Okay. Now we're going to go back to your email, your inbox. Your inbox is clear. We're going to go to drafts. Of course, you don't have drafts there. We're going to go to sent email, which later on you can do this, which is uh, just getting started with your PayPal. You've already got that. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then finally, we're going to go to trash. We're going to select all. Actually, let's go to show all. You can go to show all. So see, I'm just going to go ahead since I know you've gotten all these in your email. And I'm going to select all, and I'm going to delete them. Okay. Now, if you want to compose an email, just click Compose. And right here, you put in the email address. Like, you could put mine in here. Uh, at Actually, you know what? We're just going to do bogus email. Bogus email at 
let's see, AOL.com. Okay, you can also do CC, which is blind, uh, where people, actually, this is the blind one. This is the CC, the copy to subject. This is a bogus email for video purposes. Okay, now you can put priority, high, low, normal, receipt, and this is where you type in your message. Uh, this is a test message to show you how to do an email. But what if you have to attach something, like you have a proposal? What you would do right down here, you can go browse and you can go through your computer and attach what you want and it will attach it and then you hit this little button. I'm not going to hit it, but I'm going to hit beside it because I don't want to you know, do like a bogus email. Right here, you hit the send and it's sent, okay? So now we're going to go out of here and uh, I believe this can do you on checking your email. Now, say for instance you're in here, you're expecting an email and it just hasn't come in and you're checking it. Up here is the check email once again, which will take you over to your check email. Okay, somewhere. Uh, and right now you can even put your addresses in here. Uh, you can have an address book. You have different folders if you want to, you know, to create a folder to throw things in. Uh, your options, personal information, message highlighting, index, order, display preferences, which, you know, you really wouldn't have to do that. If you want me to do anything in here, you just need to let me know, and I can help you with that. Um, this is the help uh, folder right here. will show you what you can do or what you can't do. I know a lot of times I myself do not want to go into the help folder. I want to see if I can figure it out myself, and I normally do. Okay, so then... If you want to go back, check your email. Of course, I believe we can just close this out here. Score mail, compose. Uh, and then, too, when you're done, you can just sign out. And then you can go on to your other emails. Now, the same email, let me go back to home here. The same email that I have given you, okay, this is going to ask me, Oh. Okay, so I have to put all this back in. Which uh, this you will have this information when I send you the video. And so, once again, scroll mail. The folder's empty. I can go backwards. And then, like once you're on this page, all you have to do is click home if you want to go back home. Okay, that's all you have to do. And it should take you back home. But if not, you ha you need to save that link to your favorite that I've given you, which will get you right in to where you want to go. And uh, you have all that information. And see right here, once again, let me go through it again. Uh, email accounts, right here. Got me? Email accounts. And then you scroll down. Um, let's see. Of course, this one here. You can see if anybody has any email because there will be zero, zero. But, uh, you know, this way you know what to check or what not to check, which is good. Once again, beside the more, access webmail. Okay. Don't worry. I will send you everything you need. So, there you enter your password. Once again. Now, if you want to, let's say we're going to go into Horde, okay, just so you can see what that one is. We're going to go ahead and click that, which I'm running slow. I think I need to reboot here. But, yes, we're going to log in in English. You know, now I've never really used Horde, but maybe a couple times, and that was it. And this even, um, right here, if you want to go to Mail, and this, you can go right to Mail. Now, with this one, you have a calendar. You can do notes, or task, you have an address book, options. I do like the fact that you can have a calendar. You can send yourself reminders of important uh, dates and so forth. We're going to click on calendar if you want to go into Horde. And there's your calendar. Right here is a 22nd. And uh, so that's a good thing. You see right here you can create a new event beside the 22nd. On the plus, you can click the plus. And here you can do a new event.